Let's start the roll from the pack of Season 5, Episode 34, I believe. Um, this is going to be a long episode. I don't even know if it's going to upload, so... But we're going to give it a, a good shot here. Um, just lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, first, just to show, if you can see it all that well, probably not. Let's see. This is what Gizmo does to wires. <laughs> Chewed through that piece there. There's tons of pieces there. This is my, uh... It's an HDMI cable that went to the uh, Blu-ray player that we have. So yeah, he's uh, he's definitely a gremlin, that's for sure. And uh, I was going to wrap that with electrical cord, electrical cord, uh, electrical tape, but no justice. But um, anyway, there's that. And uh, Gizmo also, <laughs> him and I, uh, been watching, we've been having a Tremors marathon. We watched the first one and the second one yesterday. We're going on to the third and the fourth today. Which I've seen them all, obviously, but uh, the fourth one I wasn't all that pleased with. I mean, it wasn't bad, but the other three were a lot better than the fourth one. Um, tremors. <laughs> if you don't know what Tremors is, look it up. <laughs> um, it's actually a cool movie. Uh, like I said, I like the first three. The fourth one was kind of, it, it was a prequel to the first one. But um, yeah, it's just, it's not as good as the other ones. But um, I want to do a review and I want to talk about some stuff uh, that's on my mind and, and just things in general. So uh, I'm going to show you a bit of review. I'm not going to go too into it, just things that I thought were interesting in these books. And uh, Moon Knight number one. I'm just going to show you what he looks like. So spoilers, if you don't want to know what he looks like, then uh, you might want to change or uh, go past this channel. But as you can see... Let me grab one of the pictures. You can kind of see him in there. He's got like a suit on. He's fighting this uh, army dude. See? That's what he looks like now. No cape, no hood. Just business suit. All white with the moon kind of thing. But actually, it wasn't that bad of a book. I was expecting it to suck. I'm like, ah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow. It's going to be not, not that great. I was never really a huge Moon Knight fan to begin with, which is odd because everyone's like, you like Batman. He's basically Batman. Um... But it was good. It was actually pretty cool. Let's get over there. Wolverine number three. It's getting better. I, I'm I'm impressed. The the first one. I mean, all right, granted, the first one you're always kind of like, ah, it's the first issue. You know, you gotta kind of give it a shot. The second one was a little better, and the third one's even a little better than the second one. So, it's got till the next issue for me to be like, all right, am I gonna keep this one or am I gonna drop it? Because like I said, I'm getting tired of this, these constant relaunches, kind of like Hippie was saying, and this constant origin stuff. And <sighs> But anyway, I'm also trying to stay away from new issues, but see how long that lasts. Superior Spider-Man number 29. This is a Spider Slayer. I didn't even know what it was at first, because I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, Jameson has a whole new set of Spider Slayers, and uh, spoiler, like I said, the Goblin takes it over. But, um... These, I, I've liked them. I've liked them all. There wasn't... Well, there was that Massacre one that was kind of iffy, but other than that, I mean, this has been pretty cool, and it's almost done. But um, the past two issues were really, really good, and this one was actually pretty cool, too. But I think the other two issues before were much better, the 28 and 27. Let's get that. Moving on. Batman 29. To be honest, I have, I've been staying away from Batman books, like I said, because I'm just cutting cutting back and it's a hard cut back but a lot of the reasons I got this is because I like the Riddler and I like the cover but it really is getting annoying I mean I'm, I'm I didn't like this one at all I was just kind of like I don't know it was just it was just something about it which just kind of seemed stupid but um that's just me and then Batman's got purple gloves which is interesting now this is cool this was actually really cool um basically what this is uh most people don't know. You can see it's a it's a Transformers for a dollar, and what it really is is the it's a reprint basically. It's a reprint of the first Transformers issue. So if you're a Transformers fan and you don't have the first issue and, and or it's too pricey or you know or whatever, um, this is worth getting for a buck. Like I said, it basically just it retells all about the Transformers, and that's all it really is. It's just a reprint, but it's just it's just a cool book. I mean, you're going to spend more for the shipping than, than the uh, actual thing unless you get it from your comic shop. But uh, it's worth it. 
Yeah, it's actually it's it's a good book. I liked it. All right. Now moving on to other things. I want to thank everybody for the the kind words about my dad and my and my family and everything. I still don't know what's going on. It's it's aggravating. That's why I look like hell. I just I haven't been sleeping. Um, but I figured if, if anything really happened to my dad, uh, bad, uh, then I would definitely feel it. I know that sounds really weird, but whenever my mother or father were ever hurt or anything, I always felt like a something. Like I always knew something was wrong. I don't know how to explain it, and I don't feel any of that. So I I, I think he's probably all right. But it's just aggravating the hell out of me that no one knows anything, and I can't get a hold of the people who do know. It's just, it's just a real bitch. Um, yeah. What else is there? But thank you. Thank you all. I'll, I'll definitely keep everybody informed. But uh, I will be right back. Got something to do real fast. Got something. Be right back. <laughs> 